New Year's Eve, Wednesday, December 31st, 1975, and now, Lowell Thomas. I'm Harvey Hoffman, CBS covers the world of seven. From Washington, from Tehran, and from Abbars and Isas, West Africa, comes today's news. Good evening, everybody. This is Lowell Thomas for CBS News. President Ford, praising the past year and looking ahead, says his biggest disappointment was that he couldn't just turn a switch and cure the nation's economic ills. And that detente has not worked as it should have in Angola, but has helped the Middle East. He says some of his unpopular decisions in time will be recognized as okay. As to the future, he's confident he'll beat Reagan in the primaries and that Humphrey will probably be the Democratic nominee. Regardless of nominees, said he, I have what I think is an impressive record and will run on it and win on it. Oh yes, and he resents attempts by some to portray him as clumsy, bumbling, inadequate. Some of the things you read and see, said he, kind of hurt your pride because you know they're not true. And he added, in politics you have to have a sense of humor and a thick skin. And now this message. From the Federal Power Commission, an order went out today authorizing an immediate nationwide increase in natural gas prices to be followed by another hike in July. The two to cost consumers an extra 360 million or so in 76. Necessary, says the FPC, to minimize adverse impact of gas shortages on our economy. Israeli Premier Rabin is coming to the U.S. on January 27 for in-depth discussions on the Middle East with President Ford. And he'll also visit a number of other cities. A new ceasefire went into effect today in Beirut with Muslim and Christian gunmen pulling back in most parts of that city. Police and army troops moving in with orders to shoot on sight anyone suspected of violating the troops. They are attempting to ensure a peaceful new year for one day at any rate. Ten members of a secret Islamic Marxist organization were sentenced to death today at Tehran by an Iranian military tribunal, which also sentenced an 11th defendant to 15 years in solitary. The Marxists earlier had admitted to eight terrorist murders, including the slaying of three U.S. military officers. The government of France today announced plans to relinquish its last stronghold on the African continent, the French territory of Afars and Issos, long known as French Somaliland. Granted its independence as soon as practicable. France indicating it may continue to keep its troops there for a time. Afars and Issus is strategically located at the entrance to the Red Sea. From Premier Boster of South Africa, a New Year's message dealing mainly with the civil war in nearby Angola. Boster saying, many more thousands will probably be killed in Angola unless the free world unites to block further Russian intervention. Also saying, if the Russians succeed in taking over Angola, no nation in southern Africa will be safe from Soviet enslavement. The Vatican, Pope Paul, condemning what he calls the evils of the present day, lists as epidemic kidnappings, legalized abortion, armed sales helping foment civil war. The Pope adding, life is threatened, and if we want to defend it, ensure its well-being, we must be more vigilant. Former First Lady Mamie Eisenhower was rushed today to Walter Reed Army Hospital, where she's now resting comfortably. At age 79, she is said to have been in poor health for some time. I've been spending the Christmas holiday with Lowell Jr. and family in Alaska. By the way, I caught this cold in New York and took it up north. Then I thought I got rid of it. I seldom come north without hearing a new bear story. Alaska is the home of those huge bears, the giant Kodiak, grizzly, and king of the Arctic, the polar. Alec Brogel of the Alaska Department of Fish and Game was in an area known as Humpy Creek. He had his dog Rex on a leash. Salmon were spawning. There were many bear there. Brogel heard it crashing in the brush. Turned, faced a bear, charging only 40 or 50 feet away. His dog, in spite of the leash, flew at the bear, which reared on its hind legs, the dog landing on the bear's chest. Brogel jumped across the stream, fired a shot into the air, whereupon the bear dropped the dog and disappeared with her two cubs. The dog was dead, a broken neck, but Rex had saved his master's life. Wayne Paulson, who was arranging the National Ski Jumping Tournament to be held at Squaw Valley, California, the second week of January, he's a veteran hunter in Alaska, he told me about Alex Brogel and his dog Rex. I had a friend in Alaska, Rod Darnell, who was badly mauled, nearly killed under similar circumstances. Veteran newsman Max Lerner, in a column today entitled Ordeal by Ridicule, says, I am scarcely a Ford supporter, but I have had my fill of cheap shots hurled at the president by TV entertainers, professional and amateur comics, and amateur politicians. Gerald Ford seems to have a thick political skin and is an old pro, but 
says Werner, the time has come to distinguish between heart slugging on policy decisions and unfair attacks of a personal character. And now for CBS News, this is Lowell Thomas saying Happy New Year to all of you and so long until next year. WCBS News Time is 7.06. Good evening, I'm Harvey Hoffman and the Gordon Barnes New Year's.